What's going on guys? Merry Christmas to everyone. Christmas is almost upon us. And back in the year 1776, George Washington, around Christmas, crossed the Delaware and he surprised the Hessian mercenaries. They were mercenaries hired to fight for Britain against the Continental Army, against the United States. And this was one of, one of the many turning points of the war when the colonists and the Continental Army started winning more battles against the British. Well, if you look at the painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware, if you look on the left side of that painting, you'll see an African-American soldier rowing that boat. There's a man by the name of Prince Whipple. Prince Whipple fought for the Continental Army in the Revolutionary War. Now, Prince Whipple, uh, and this was according to a book that documented talking about um, African-American soldiers in the American Revolution. It was written by two abolitionists. I'm going to give you their last names. Their last names were Nell and Stowe. Uh, Stowe was Harriet Beecher Stowe. She wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. It was a strong anti-slavery book. She also wrote about African-American soldiers serving in the American Revolution. And one guy was a man by the name of Prince Whipple. And the book talked about that Prince was beloved by all who knew him. Prince was not anti-white. He was not bitter. He, his master, William Whipple, entrusted him with a large sum of money to take to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And in the process, Prince Whipple fought off two robbers. Prince Whipple was born in Africa. He was born in Ghana to come to very wealthy parents. And he they sent him to America to study. But when he got to America, he was sold into slavery. And William Whipple was his master. William purchased him. And William Whipple told Prince, he said, Prince, if you fight for the Continental Army in the Revolutionary War, you will get your freedom. William Whipple remained true to his word. Prince Whipple fought valiantly in the American Revolution, and he was freed. And it's a story that needs to be told because we just know about George Washington crossing Delaware, and we should know about that. George Washington was a very brave and honorable man, but we need to know about the story of Prince Whipple. And he had every reason to hate, every reason to be bitter, and he chose not to be. His wife, Dina, Prince married. He was freed. He married, had a family. His wife, Dina, was, before she was freed, she was a slave to a pastor in New England. And while it does not say if Prince was a Christian or not, his, his wife definitely was. And judging by Prince's attitude and actions, he was as well. Now, I do not know that because it did not say, but his wife was. And we need to note that. It's time for peace. And goodwill towards all. Side times for hatred. Anytime, but definitely not a hatred. Definitely not hatred during Christmas time. And God bless Prince Whipple. Way to set the example. Way to be a brave soldier. Fight against British imperialism. I like the UK. I'm glad we have a strong alliance with the UK. But this was British imperialism. Way to fight against British imperialism. And way to not be bitter compared to all the struggles you had. So God bless Prince Whipple. Definitely an unsung hero of the American Revolution. And... For a long time, Americans knew about this, but in the 1980s, there was a lot of progressive um, education that tried to take um, the accomplishments that African Americans made in the American Revolution out of there. I'm not exactly sure why that would be. Um, it really didn't have an agenda one way or the other, conservative or progressive. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.